doing okay i'm gonna just re-angle you because you are so low are you straight yeah hello guys i hope you're doing okay welcome or welcome back to the channel i hope you are having the best week so far whatever day this is you're actually gonna watch this i think it's gonna be sunday I hope it's going to be Sunday anyway. I'm going to sit on George's little chair because I felt really far away from you. You're actually, you are currently sitting on George's little table. And I'm currently sat on George's little chair. Yeah, that's what we're doing today apparently. Um, the lighting is quite good here, so I thought I would just sit here. It is such a miserable day today because, um, yeah, it's just chucking it down with rain. And it's, yeah, the lighting... I don't know what's going on with these spotlights. On this side, we've got really good spotlights. And on this side, they've gone really like dim. So anyway, yeah, the lighting is just all off, but that's probably really boring. I apologize. A little bit of background for today. I have booked a day off work. Um, it's actually the same day that you saw me in my last vlog, but I thought I would do a separate vlog for this one because I'm kind of just getting stuff done today. Today is like a life admin day. I really, really, really needed like a, just a day off where I could get all my life admin done because I don't know about you guys, but juggling work, being a mum, trying to be like a content creator and stuff like that, I find it so, so difficult um, to balance all of these things. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna be kind to myself. I'm gonna be saying, actually, let me take a day off work where I can get stuff done and then I can sort of rebalance, recenter myself and sort of go from there. So yeah, that is what I'm doing today. I have loads of stuff to do. I've got like a mental to-do list, which is just so, so long, but I'm gonna do like a proper, proper to-do list and then kind of take you guys through all of those things when I'm doing them. I hope that's something that you guys are interested in. If it is, then do hit the like button so that I know that you like this kind of content. Maybe I'll keep booking days off where I can crack on and do things like this because I'm here for it. I really, really am. But anyway, before we get into the to-do list, I actually really wanted to show you guys some of the new things that I've got in my wardrobe. And I wanted to also thank Cupshe for sponsoring this part of the video. So if you guys have been around for a little while, you'll know that I actually worked with Cupshe just before I went on my honeymoon after the wedding because I had loads of really, really cute bikinis and stuff from there. But they actually don't just do bikinis. They do autumn, winter stuff as well. And the quality is just as good as the bikinis. I'm obsessed. This is from there. I'm gonna show you some of the bits that I picked up in just a minute. But since Cupshe's inception in 2015, Cupshe's brought an incredible community of women together and they move forward in confidence, comfort, style, and I absolutely love it. It's something that I'm so here for. I really love the quality of the pieces and the fact that they're so affordable. The average price is under 30 pounds, which is just perfect for me. Everything's like comfortable, flattering, which again, for a mum, is just perfect. The clothing and everything is made from special fabrics to design for every body shape. Something that I really like like is you can order bikini tops and bottoms separately like in different sizes to suit your body type they've actually just launched their new like party collection as well as their autumn winter collection so i'd definitely check that out if i were you okay first up has to be the shirt that i am wearing it is my favorite thing that i picked up from Cupshe. it is beautiful i love it so much and it's just perfect to pop on over something really really simple you'll see that i love that kind of thing it's super easy comfortable practical mum outfit like i just this is autumn winter in an outfit for me epic i'll link it down below i've then gone for a cardigan beautiful it's so oversized it's so perfect it's so cozy let me just step back a little bit so you can see it oh my goodness this is everything i love it so much this is just like my work from home favorite outfit or just like mum life outfit Perfect. I'll link this one down below as well. Next up is another overshirt. This one is so, so soft. It's like a teddy material. This one, however, was already oversized. So I should have probably kept to a small, but I love it. I love, I just love an oversized overshirt. It just, uh, it just does everything for me. Leggings, crop top, or just like a long sleeve top or something like that. Underneath, trainers, sweat socks, overshirt. That's my vibe. I'll link this one down below as well. Next up, stripy long sleeve top, but what I actually love is this little cutout detail. Why does that 
make it seem so much cooler. I really, really love it. And I love striped at the moment. So yeah, little cutout detail there. Just tucked it into some leggings, little biker jacket maybe, biker boots. It's a vibe, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm now gonna move on to more like formal, like work weary type things, but you can so, so, so wear these to like events, like Christmassy things. Like I feel like you can dress these up, dress these down. I'm gonna probably wear them to work, but you like, yeah, kind of, you'll get the vibe, one sec. Okay, this is more like work wear, how I'd style it. So it's just a really long, beautiful bodycon dress in this like chocolate color that I'm just obsessed with. It's got this really nice like embroidery detail. I love this so much. And then I've just popped on some sort of heeled boots and that's how I'd wear this like to the office. If I wanted to play it down a little bit and go a bit more cash, I would literally just chuck on biker jacket over the top, instantly makes it more casual. And then I would pop on biker boot as well. And then you're like sexy mum vibes. So <laughs> that's how I would do that. Then we've got this beautiful blouse. I just love this so much. Long sleeve, but embroidery is so on point. I love it so much and this is how I'd probably wear it to like work and I've got like a black heel on as well, same ones as before. If I wanted to style it down a little bit and wear it on like a, to maybe like an event or like a brunch or something like that, not that I do those kind of things very often, but if I were to, then I'd probably just wear this with like some high-waisted mum jeans and like cash it down a little bit, but it would still look really, really cute and I love it. Then we have this beautiful dress. Oh my gosh, I love this dress so much. I haven't got any dresses that look like this and I feel like it's really, really nice office wear. I can wear it with these boots or I can wear like tights with it or something like that. But I could equally wear this out to dinner and feel like really, really comfortable and feel like I am dressed up. I love it. I love this one so much. I'll link it down below. Last but no means least are these leather look leggings with a little zip up here. Love them, love them, love them. I've just popped them on with these boots and then obviously, yeah, my oversized as well um but i'll link these leggings down below because they're so 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 beautiful and i feel like leather look makes you feel like you've got more of a trouser on even if you haven't um so i'll pop these down below as well if you liked any of the pieces that i just showed you then definitely don't forget to use my discount code and i'll link every single thing down below my discount code is shannon15 which gets you 15 percent off site-wide on any orders over 49 pounds um yeah like i said i'll link everything down below go and check them out even just have a little stalk at how affordable everything is i'm obsessed with them and i cannot wait to get stylish this autumn winter anyway let's crack on let's actually get this to-do list written and then i can actually like crack on with the things i need to get done today life admin let's do this and we also just appreciate george's artwork that i have shown you guys on many occasions but every time i sit down i think oh there is literally no way of getting this off of wood so we are stuck with this unless we decide to sand this entire table down and to be quite frank we're not going to do that so he's got it on this side as well look absolute liberty can't believe he did that um, but anyway um i'm just going to do my to-do list i've got this like pad um and this was definitely not stolen from work um so <laughs> i'm just gonna write my little to-do list mainly life admin like not little things well you know what maybe little things i'll, I'll see what, how far i get i'll do like the big things first tick those off as we go and then yeah so i'm vlogging today so actually i'm vlogging two vlogs at the same time which really confuses me so i'm gonna crack on with my list and i'll show you it after Okay, I definitely feel better having written this down because it's not actually as like terribly long as I thought it was. So on my to-do list today, hello, um, it's so not aesthetic, but come with me. So on my to-do list today, I've got to film my food haul slash get ready with me vlog, which is something that I filmed half of this morning and I haven't really finished it, but that's a vlog that I'm hoping to post like already I have already posted that hopefully and it's not like a specific food haul specific get ready it's just a vlog and other things that I'm sort of doing in it I did those things this morning before I started this vlog so I'm sort of gonna like finish that vlog towards the end of the day I think um so that will have already been posted hopefully and then I've also got to film the cup sheet content that I've already done tick that off um and also like the rest of this productive vlog where I'm going to do the rest of this so it's like killing two birds with one stone I kind of have to like 
get things done in one day when I have a day like this it's just it's just this come so far and few between that when when I have a day like this I am full-on like trying to be as productive as possible and um, the next thing on my list is sell my car yes so my old car which is my mini I still haven't sold it um and I'm going to sell it at we buy any car because I tried to sell it on motorway.co.uk or whatever it is the motorway online thing and I was having trouble just because I uh, I'm busy like I don't have time to be like responding constantly to emails and stuff like that and I just they kept asking me loads of questions and it's still not up for sale even though I tried to put it up for sale a week ago and my insurance is about to well my insurance my new like weekly and like I've got a week's worth of insurance on my new car is about to um run out and I have to get my full insurance sorted that's the next thing on my to-do list get my full insurance sorted for my new car but I don't want to have to pay insurance for two cars at the same time so I am going to sell my um mini at we buy any car they've given me a really good price the quote that they've given me is really good so I'm going to go and sell that in literally my appointment is in 20 minutes it's 10 past one now my appointment's at half past one and my sister-in-law is going to pick me up from there which is really really helpful so yeah after i get back i'm going to sort out my full insurance for my new car i have hanging washing up on my um to-do list i've also got put washing away different washing the washing that's upstairs in a pile on my bed i'm actually going to do that the same day that it came off of the air which is literally mind-blowing that never happens to me um i've also got here on my list and this is like an asterisk like it doesn't have to happen today at all but it's something that i've been like putting off um since summer basically and it is to go through my wedding stuff um take photos of the stuff that i don't want to keep um post on facebook or vinted or instagram still white um anything like that um to see if anyone wants to buy any of the stuff i'm looking to pretty much sell all of it there's maybe a couple of things that i'll keep um for like decor pieces around the house but most of it i will want to sell i want to sell my wedding dress um which i still haven't done that's actually up in george's bedroom um so i'm gonna go through everything if i still have time um today and yeah i'm gonna do that there was another thing that i wanted to do um like batch cook i really wanted to batch cook a few things because um well i well i have a free day and like i just like yeah filling the day with like all these practical things that i need to get done however um i my hello fresh hasn't arrived yet so it's sort of just not the right day uh, to batch cook i'm not going to stress so i'm not going to put it on my to-do list this is my to-do list i think i'll tick all of this off other than maybe the wedding stuff if we get there we get there but yeah there we go that's my to-do list right i'm off i'm wearing ash's jacket because it's raining um i am off to go and sell my car, I've got my V5C, I've got my driving license, I've got my bank details, I think that's everything I need. Let's go sell my car. Oh my goodness. This might be the last time I drive this Mini. Well, we probably, I hope it will be. Um, it's a bit dirty. I don't know if you can see the mad amount of crumbs. Um, that's where George's car seat was. I hope they don't knock off too much because I'll tell you it isn't here, but fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll catch up with you. Hopefully, once I've sold the car and after my sister-in-law's dropped me back home. Fingers crossed. All right, bye. All right, just got back and I have officially sold my car. I am going to tick it off my list, which is sell my car. Amazing. So it was really, really simple. If anyone's looking to do um, like we buy any car or anything like that, I was always a bit skeptical of it just because I thought like they would give me a crap price for it or something like that. But they offered me five thousand pounds, which I think was reasonable considering the condition it was in. Um, there were just like a few things, like there were a couple of scratches and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, so I got five grand for it, which I'm very happy with. My new car cost ten grand, so I'm gonna knock five grand straight away off of um, the loan that I got out, and then I'm just gonna pay the rest of the five thousand back um, every single month with my YouTube money actually. So any money that I make from YouTube and stuff um, will go straight towards paying my car off, which I am very, very grateful for that I have a second income to be able to do that sort of thing with. So thanks guys, watch the ads because they, they bring in the money. Um, but yeah, so I've ticked that one off and now I'm going to hang up the washing because I've just heard that the washing machine has finished and then I'm gonna sort out my insurance and things like that. But yeah getting there ticking things off i feel productive i like it
Right, just got all of my insurance all sorted. I literally just um, transferred the insurance from my old car to my new car. The seven day like driveway insurance from Kazoo that I got when I bought my new car is still like taking effect until the end of the week. So I've been covered until then, but obviously I've just got it all properly sorted now, which is perfect. The only two things left on my to-do list are put the washing away, which is literally my worst job ever, but I've got my AirPods. This by the way, best best investment i have made i don't splurge often and actually ash and i got a pair of like earbud type things each with our wedding money uh, actually funny enough because when we were going on holiday we wanted um these i say holiday it was our honeymoon we wanted a pair of these each so i got the um earbuds the apple earbuds what are they called airpods yeah i got the airpods and he got the samsung version because he's got he's got samsung so um yeah best invention ever and these make like the tedious tasks like putting the washing away and washing up and like all those kind of things just that much more bearable um yeah so if you're going in and out of different rooms and all that stuff you don't have to worry about carrying something with you i just best invent put these on your christmas list guys christmas list i highly highly recommend so I'm going to go and put the washing away. The only other thing is on my to-do list is go through the wedding stuff. But the only thing that's in the house is the wedding dress. Everything else is in the garage and it's still chucking it down with rain. So I don't know if I can be bothered to go to the garage all the way at the back of the garden. I'm not going to lie to you. So I might have to miss that one off, which I kind of thought might happen. But I am going to put the wedding dress up on um still white so that's the website that i'm gonna put the like advert on but i've got to pull that out and um like double check all of that and the quality of it and stuff but it's being dry cleaned and it's practically good as new so i'm gonna go and do that and get that up onto still white and yeah put the washing away and i'll catch up with you after been feeling something for you lately and i am trying so hard to just stay cool oh man i think i might be going crazy cause all i really really want is to be with you and i'm like i'm saying we're just friends but thinking you're my man and baby, if you knew Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm doing just fine But I'm scattered, scattered And I cry when you're not around Because it matters, matters Dreaming of your kisses In the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing But I feel like Hey, I say I'm doing alright I'm fine But I'm scattered, we're just friends Okay, I am just about to post the dress onto still white, all of the details filled in, like all of the silhouettes and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just about to press go live. So if you wanted to check that out, then it will be up there now. And I think that is everything on my to-do list that I had written down and I'm finished and it's now five o'clock. Um, so I had like the morning, uh, which was like a bit of a mean morning. And then the afternoon was very much a productive afternoon. And I'm very, very pleased uh, with how my day has gone. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. A bit of a mum productive video. Obviously, I've got a little cup tree haul in there with the autumn winter stuff. Don't forget to use the links down below if you do want to check out anything that I got from Cup Sheet and to use my discount code, which is Shannon15, if you wanted to get 15% off site wide on purchases over £49. But I think I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go get George. I'm really looking forward to seeing him. And then we're going to take Molly out for a little walk, I think, because it's finally stopped raining today. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming along on my productive day with me, guys. And I will see you very, very soon in the next one. Bye. Because you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby.